Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're playing Strike on Endor. So first things first, I use my Vanguard to go fast. Now, unfortunately, there were other people, and they threw a bomb at me, which left me in the open, and I died. I used my Vanguard again and spot a guy early, so I disarm my Vanguard. Follow him and get the kill. was actually pretty good as he got it very close out into the open and this is a key choke point the hangar now I died going for the package now this is the biggest choke point in the game and it's really important that you get it out past the hangar. You want to get it out past the hangar because then you spawn outside. The spawn points change when you, get, when you move the package. If you do have the package in here, do not just sit in there because your teammates are going to die. Now I pick up the package and I run it. Now this was pretty lucky that I got it all the way out here. Teammates did a good job eliminating the others. Now Rocket Trooper is definitely better on this map because it has a jetpack and it's out an outdoor map. And when you have a jetpack, that also kind of helps. So that's really important that you choose jetpack over Wookie. On outdoor maps, you always want to have a jetpack troop. So I got really close, but I died. Lost. We lost that round, so it was a new round. So now that we have it, the package right back in here, I'm to shoot my scanning dart out. Now you just want to start attacking people. This guy, that guy was a good carrier and he got it outside the bay and in, into where the next spawn zone. This guy wasn't looking and he got obliterated. CR2 is definitely my choice of gun for this map. No, we got pretty lucky on, I got pretty lucky on this round. Now we just won that round. So now we are going to go to the last round. Going in. 
I quit my Vanguard to get that fast move. I use my scan guard to find him. And I uh, kill him. Now once the package is picked up, this part is now all in the play zone. I cleared this area. And with the element of surprise, I actually managed to get a few kills. Now the carrier got it outside of the bay which is very good since I get a new spawn point and we are out of the uh, choke point of the hangar. Now this is all, now it's all outside. I have enough for a rocket trooper and rocket troopers are good on this map and I would actually prefer them over a Wookiee outdoors. I get on top of the roof and which it actually really which was really good. But I overshot the roof, so that was great. Now this is, was a very important point. Now I get on back on top of the roof to see if I can clear out anyone who may kill a potential runner. Now I'm forced off the roof, but I still am going to keep on clearing. I eventually died because I used my rocket launcher and holding a rocket launcher does slow you down. As the package had been returned to its original place, a runner got it all the way back out here. This was looking bad. I thought we were going to lose this because it was only half, a little more than halfway through, and we only had 10 troops. With a huge wave of m men, we uh, escorted, uh, we started to escort our carrier, and unfortunately, I died, but I died protecting the carrier. I just escaped. Now it's overtime, which is very scary. There's a swarm of enemies, and it looks bad. And I knew that this is the end. 
but hope was gained when a new carrier picked up the package. I was a rocket trooper and said maybe I can get there in time. Unfortunately, I was wrong because of course I got killed. We lost. So now with tips and what to do for a strike on indoor. So first things first, you want to use your van if you're using assault, you want to use your vanguard to go and get the package quickly. This applies for all maps and everything. If you're using the assault, use the vanguard to go fast. Now next things next you want to if you're not in the soul class you want to just try and get over there and get the package you want to move the package if you're a heavy if you're well if you're a heavy you might want to equip the shield when you start pushing with the package but since the shield slows you down it might not be a good idea so you want to get it out of the hangar even if you just get it a little bit outside and you die that's still really good you want to get it outside the hangar because you respawn in a different place and that's really good because you spawn outside of the hangar in an open area that isn't a choke point and if you have the package do not stay in the hangar for a while your your troops will just drain and your reinforcements will just stop coming. You can't, as a carrier, you need to move and take risks and die. So once you have it out, what do you do? I like to go on the left side behind all the warehouses and run it up through there. Even if you don't have the package, go behind there and go to the very back and just kill everyone behind there if they're guarding the place or you can go in between each one and just pick them off now staying safe once you're delivering the package there's not much i can say about that except if you're a heavy just uh equip your shield or there's not much to do about that but when you don't have the package in the hangar, you want to kill people and make room. You always want to cover the carrier. And remember, play as a team. Don't don't just go and get kills. You actually get an objective score for being near the carrier. Now that's all I have to say. And thank you so much, guys.